Okay, new setup to test out. Let's tackle week 7, problem 7.30. We have a radiator of steam with a volume of 20 liters and it initially has superheated steam at 200 kilopascals and 150 Celsius. The inlet and the exit are closed and the steam is allowed to cool to a temperature of 40 Celsius. The entropy change of the steam during the, pr the process is to be determined. Okay, so first thing, note that it's asking, uh, it's giving an answer in kilojoules per Kelvin. Okay, so we're going to get have to get rid of the kilogram on the bottom of the entropy. Okay, so this problem is as simple as finding the S or the entropy for our first. Uh, get out of my way. For our first state, and then finding the entropy of the second state and then just subtracting the two, final minus initial, okay? The, other, the only other thing we're going to have to do is having to find the mass, but since we know that in this system there's no mass entering or leaving, there's none of this, since we know there's none of this, and it's the same container throughout, so there's no change in volume here, and there's no mass flow, so we know that the volume doesn't change from V1 to V2, and because there's no mass change as well, we can say that our v specific volume 2 is equal to our specific volume 1. Okay, as a matter of fact, the volume has been given, the volume is 20 liters, right? Which we can smartly convert to meters cubed. So, what do we need to do? We need to grab the mass for these guys, and we need to grab the entropy for these guys. Now, Entropy is a state property, so we can grab them off the table. And then for this first guy here, we know this guy is superheated. It's been said so in the beginning, right? So this is superheated. So we can go ahead and grab data from the table. And this one here, I'm not sure. But since we have two properties, right? As soon as we have two properties, we can use these two to be able to figure out what's happening in the second one. Okay, so in the first state, I'm going to go ahead no wind superheated and no wind set 150 Celsius and 200 kilopascals. I'm going to go ahead to table A6, which is the superheated one. And that's going to be on page, what is it, 910. And I can grab straight off the bat the entropy, right? So I'm going to grab S1, which is the entropy for the first state. And that's going to be 7.281. Kilojoules, kilograms, Kelvin. Okay, so this is the kilogram that I was talking about. We need to get rid of this guy because our final answer is only given in kilojoules per Kelvin. So to get rid of that, I'm going to need my mass. And since I have my volume and I have my, if I can grab my specific volume, I can find the mass, right? So I can, in this table still, I can go ahead and grab my specific volume one, which is 0 0.9. 5986 and that's going to be in meters cubed per kilograms all right now we can go ahead and grab the mass if we want to or we can, we can define the second state because now we have two properties right because we have the temperature of the second state we have the temperature of the second state and now we also have the specific volume which is this guy here right because they have to be the same so let's go ahead and grab the mass first. So we know the specific volume, just looking at the units, we know it's volume over mass. And therefore, if we want the mass, we just need to divide the volume by the specific volume. In this case, it's 20. Oops, 20 times 10 to the minus 3, because we want to convert that liters, those liters into meters cubed. And then we're going to divide by 0.9. 5, I'm uh, sorry, 95986, and we're going to have an answer in kilograms. That turns out to be about 0 0.0204 kilograms, and I could have converted that into grams. It would make more sense, but since I'm going to multiply by the kilograms eventually, this guy here 
So I'm just going to leave in kilograms for now. Okay, so we have the mass for the second and first state because it doesn't change, right? Cool. So now the second thing is I can go to my table for my saturated mix table. Uh, table and I can check at 40 at 40 Celsius and I'm going to note that my specific volume falls between the saturated liquid so my specific volume 2 or my state specific volume is between the saturated liquid and between the saturated vapor right so it's smaller than the saturated vapor but it's larger than the saturated liquid so that allows us to conclude this is a mixture right so that's going to be a mixture so for us to grab our entropy which is what we're after for us to grab our entropy we know that our entropy on state 2 will be a mixture so it's going to be the entropy of the saturated vapor times the quality that is how much vapor I have in mass plus whatever is left with the saturated liquid and whatever is left is going to be 100% or 1 minus my quality. Okay, so I need to grab quality and we know that as long as we have one property quality is trivial, right? Because it's going to be that one property that we have which in our case is specific volume minus the liquid saturated liquid divided by the vapor and the liquid. Okay, and then you're welcome to grab the difference already from the table if you want, because this term has is the FG one, it's the FG term, or just subtract them up to you. It's going to be the same thing. And by doing so, right, by placing, I got the liquid one to be uh, 0 0.00108 and the vapor one to be 19.515. And that rendered approximately 4.91%. So we have way more liquid than we have vapor, and therefore we would expect the uh, our final entropy to be way closer to this guy here than to the vapor one. Right? If we have something different, we did something wrong in our maths. So my S2 will be. Um, That's horrible. Let me make it again. It will be my 4.91% times the entropy for my vapor, which is 8.2556 plus 100% minus 4.91 percent times, just put in the bottom here, times the saturated liquid entropy which is 0 0.5724 okay and then running those numbers summing them up I got uh, approximately 0 0.95 kilojoules per kilograms Kelvin. Okay, so indeed way closer to our 0 0.5 than to than the 8, right? As we would expect. All right, now for the last part, we are looking for our difference in entropy. And we could go ahead and find the small one, which is just going to be our end state minus our initial state. But since we know that we're after the big S, or entropy in energy without the kilograms there, without being uh, specific to a certain amount of mass, we can go ahead and say that's going to be the mass times S2 minus S1, because we know the mass is the same for both. Okay, so my big S is 0 
and then my second status is 0 0.95 0.95 and my first state S is for the table 7.281 okay this is obviously going to be negative because my first state is way greater and indeed what we get is negative 0 0.13 okay just for the units before we finish off we're multiplying kilograms by uh, kilojoules per kilograms per Kelvin. No, we're not multiplying anything. There's no temperature here involved, so that Kelvin is just going to stay there, right? So we get rid of the kilograms. And this turns out to be just kilojoules per Kelvin. Okay, and then if we need, wanted to get rid of that Kelvin there, we will need to know the temperature of the environment. 